Hey, welcome to the Cardone Zone. Grant Cardone here, and every Friday I come to you to talk about your business, your career, and your finances. Today I want to talk about how to stay focused. Here we are moving into 2020. Some people already fell off. I know I did. I fell off on one of my goals already. I was going to be Mr. Nice Guy. I was going to be a marshmallow this year. I was going to be Mr. Soft. I lasted literally 24 hours, maybe not even 24. But I have taken up a new target already. Uh, failed on one already, second day with no meat. This is the first two days of my entire lifetime. I don't remember not having meat, milk, cheese. Uh, so I'm going to go seven days on plant. Yesterday I did it, man, and my energy yesterday was ridiculous. Good or bad? Unbelievable. So good. So uh, today I want to talk about something really, really, really important. In this year, hopefully I can help coach you and mentor you and stay with you this year and you can help me stay uh, uh, focused on my goals. Something that I learned how to do when I was probably, I don't know, 25, 26, 27 years old and has really contributed and made a difference in my career is staying focused on my goals. Making a commitment to some target and staying with that thing and not getting distracted by all the noise. Today we wake up in the world, there's a lot of noise already today, whether it's an impeachment or Iran or uh, whatever. Like there's an endless list of distractions with Instagram and Facebook and advice and good advice, bad advice. I don't know, I mean like con conflicting advice. And, and staying focused is very, very difficult. I see it with my staff. We have 185 staff here. I got another 350 in the field in our real estate. How do you stay focused? You got, you're married, maybe you got kids, you got a, a, a mom or a dad that's got some kind of problem that pops up or a brother or sister that you love and you're concerned about. Maybe you got a dog or an animal at the house and, and they get lost for a second. You get distracted by all these things. Some target you had, a disappointment comes along and you're like, you, you, you lose it, okay? I'm going to share with you three things that I do every day to stay focused. Number one, I need meaningful goals. I was talking to, the, to my friends... Uh, in New York, I have some friends in New York that are in the broadcast business, and I was like, look, they're like, how do you set realistic goals? I'm like, don't set realistic goals. Set meaningful, meaningful, game-changing, okay? The goals, no goal is going to uh, keep your interest, keep your attention, keep your focus. I need my phone. Uh, nothing's going to keep your focus if it's not meaningful, right? So, like, if, if, if I tell you right now, hey, uh, there's uh, $10, and your goal is $10, uh, that's not meaningful enough. If it's $100, most people are like, they're not going to do a whole bunch to go get $100. But what if I made this $100 million? Okay, even though it's impossible, I'll promise you, I'll promise you, if I sit down with Johnny and say, Johnny, I'm going to show you how to get $100 million legally in your lifetime. If the payoff is big enough, meaningful, significant, game-changing, this is why people give up on their goals. They give up on their goals because they're not meaningful, they're not significant, there's no life-changing result. $100, uh, $1,000, even $10,000. significantly, does not significantly change a person's life enough. Even if you're broke, you say $10,000 would change my life forever. Oh yeah, until you do the math. And then you're like, there's no money here. Now, when you start thinking this big, this is the whole premise of the 10X rule. The 10X rule is not just about big think. The 10X rule is about necessary think. The think that is necessary in order for you to even stay in the game. In the game, or focused on the goal. So number one, the goal has to be meaningful, significant, literally life-changing. Number two, you got to have daily targets. Every day I walk in with a target. First thing I do with my daily planner, and we'll take some callers, 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. If my planner, you got a planner around here? I have a planner, and basically what the planner does is the planner starts off two sheets of paper. It's got, it's got it looks like this. It's a notebook, right? And this is, this is the right side. We start on the right side. This is goals at the top. And this is targets. Okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down these ridiculous targets. Oh, I'm going to get a, I'm, I'm gonna get a, a helicopter. 
okay? I'm going to get a brand new helicopter, eight passenger. I got it in my head. I got it mocked up. It's black. It's got a 10X underneath it. Dude, it's got choppers. I'm not doing that this year. $10 billion worth of real estate. All this ridiculous stuff goes here. $10 billion worth of real estate. Folks, I cannot buy $10 billion worth of real estate this weekend. This month, probably can't do that this year. If I, if I put together a billion dollars this year, uh, I'll be lucky, okay? No, we did 860 last year. Yeah, let me, ha let me have that book. So when you get this book, it's a 10X planner. You don't have to use this book, but this is the book I use. It's called the 10X planner. And inside the planner on the front page has got a little QR reader, and it tells you, it tells you on the QR reader, if you just snap a shot of this on your phone, it pops into a little video how to use it, okay? This is my planner, okay? Uh, so what I have here is goals. I have a quote. Oops. I want you guys to write your quote down that day, okay? Today, hey, dude, I never take advice from a quitter, ever. You quit on your goals, I don't listen to you. And you could be the most, you could be the most brilliant person in the world. You could, be, you could be a billionaire. If you quit on a goal, if you're done, if you're into the retirement game now, I'm, I'm, I'm not listening to you. I'll, I'd rather listen to you when you were on your roll up, on your way up, than listen to you right now, okay? So right here is going to be a quote, goals, unachievable, can't accomplish them today, and then right here is going to be daily targets. This is the second part, okay? Daily targets. You need a daily target. Somebody needs to say, hey, what am I doing today? What am I doing today? Today, uh, calls, schedule, people I need to talk to. Uh, what, 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 what has to happen today, what, what that, that I can measure today uh, in order to stay focused on my goals tomorrow, next week, and next month. If I can't pull today off, if I can't pull today off, you know, in, 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 uh, when you're recovering from drug addiction, it's one day at a time. Handle today. I used to go to a meeting three times a day, three times a day, every day, seven o'clock in the morning, one at noon, one at eight o'clock. People say, man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of meetings, man. 21 meetings in one week. Like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to fall off, man. I got to stay focused. I'm weak. The devil's got me. The third thing you got to do, and then we'll open up the phones. I need to be held accountable, have an obligation to someone else. I need to publicly tell people this is what I'm up to. I am not eating meat for seven days. It's not enough to say you're not going to eat meat for seven days. I need somebody to bring me uh, um, uh, the stuff that's not meat. I don't even know what it is. No meat, no dairy, no eggs. Okay, so I need somebody to say, hey, this is my obligation. This is my commitment. I told Peter, Peter, make sure I don't want any meat this week. Okay, everything, all vegetables. So when I, when every couple of two or three hours, I need something vegetables. I don't even know where to get this stuff. I need to be uh, have an obligation. I need to be held accountable. I need a team. I need a team to say, hey, this is Grant's plan this week. I win, you win. Every time, if I can stay focused long enough to accomplish one goal, one goal, then I can stay focused to accomplish any goal. And so can you. That's what I want to help you do in 2020. We're starting our 10X tour today. Tonight I'm in Phoenix. Tomorrow uh, we do Phoenix. San Diego Sunday. San Diego Sunday. Orange County next Saturday. LA next Sunday. Okay. The fourth, Phoenix. Today's the third. The fifth, San Diego. The 11th, the 11th, I think it is. The 11th is Orange County. The 12th is uh, Los Angeles. <laughs> Dude, there's already like 6,000 people registered for Los Angeles. Um, then we go to uh, Vegas on the 18th. 19th is San Fran. 20th is Oakland. Now, why am I doing that? Okay. See, these schedules right here, all this stuff I do with schedules is me holding myself accountable. It pulls me forward into the future. When I'm done with this month in January, why would I book all this stuff in January? Free to the public. Why would I do that? Because it jump starts my year. Okay, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this first for me and my family and then for you. If I'm not taking care of myself, how can I take care of other people? So I'm going to mentor a million people this year. It's one of my targets this year. That means I need 80, 83,000 people a month via, via, via live streams, public, uh, uh, um, Instagram. I need 83,000 people a month. I need to go visit you. You're going to come to the 10X Growth Conference in February, whatever. Three things, okay? M number one, you got to have 
game-changing goals. Two, daily targets. Three, obligations and accountability. Let's talk to our callers. Maybe you have Ernie. Ernie, what's going on, my friend? Thank you for calling in. Uncle G, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Hey, Happy New Year. Good. Hey, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Yeah, he doesn't go any lower than that. Go ahead. What you got? You got a question? You got a comment? What you got, Ernie? Yeah, I have a question mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, well, first, congrats on not having any meat. Um, you know, first two days of, of 2020, I'm actually wow. vegan. I've been vegan for two years. Uh -huh. Are you going vegan or are you just not having meat? No, I'm just not doing meat, man. No f meat, no fish, no wieners. <laughs> How'd you get off them weenies, man? Good, man. That's good. Um, that's good, man. It, that's that, that makes me excited. Uh, you should really stick to it. But um, yeah, I had a question for you. So I what, 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 actually, what, but what gets you excited? The fact that I'm the weenie comment or the the the, the off the meat comment? Uh, the off the meat comment. Okay, why you, you you think it's good for you think we eat too much meat, huh? Yeah, we we eat too much meat, and not to mention that when you lay off the meat. Your personal, your your own weenie is going to be a lot more excited. Woo! Let's roll. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I'm not. I'm. It's, it's. I'm kind of joking, but it's very serious. You'll, yeah, you'll notice yeah. a big difference. Yeah. So look, look. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd love to know anybody watching right now. What what your thoughts is on, on this? I've been eating meat for 30, 60 years, folks. Like it's not like I don't like. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're going to get off of it. It's seven days, like seven days. If I can't get off of meat for seven days. And, and this is with staying focused, too. Some of this stuff you want to do just for fun, just like, hey, I did that. I'm going to try something, okay? All right, what's your question, Ernie? All right, so I, I quit my job three months ago. Um, I'm officially working on, on my company. And it goes with, like, I have... A, a, a crap load of goals yeah. in my mind, but how do you pick probably like two or three bigger ones and just stay focused Great on question. them? Great question. So look, what you're going to do is you're going to get, whether you use my planner or um, uh, whether you, you know, just get a notepad, I, I, can, I can write my notes on this piece of paper. It's whether you guys can stay focused or not on what you need to write down. So my little planner, my 10X planner, this side has all my dates, okay? This is the hour of the, of the day from 6 a.m. To, to, to midnight. And it tells me when I'm going to wake up and when I'm going to go to bed and everything I'm going to do in between. Over here, over here, you're writing down goals that are unachievable. I want you to write them down new every day. The problem with you guys that take pictures, screenshots of your goals, you wrote your goals down in, 20, in January 1st, and then you look at them on January 3rd, on January 6th, on January 16th, about something you wrote down January 1st. That, that might not even be anything to you anymore. Now, if I sit down and write my goals down, Ernie, every day, and every day I write these down, today I wrote down a helicopter. Man, I'm going to get me a helicopter. I got to get me a helicopter, okay? Tomorrow, helicopter don't show up. Sunday, helicopter don't show up. Monday, helicopter don't show up. Boom, next week, next Wednesday, helicopter shows up again. Well, you know what, like, like if I'm only focused on that helicopter once or twice every week, it probably isn't that important. So you need to start writing down your goals to figure out, hey, what is really important to Ernie? Most people will, you will discover your purpose right here, okay? You're going to discover right now what is really important to you. What is the game you're playing? Why are you here? What are you doing? Most people simply, they're at a job, don't have a purpose. You might have quit your job, Ernie, because you're like, this isn't feeding me anymore. Trust me, you could end up working for yourself saying, this doesn't feed me at all. <laughs> Next caller. You got John, in John, what's going on, John? John. Natalie, you need to let him in first and then, and then have him on, ready to go. John, what's up? Hey, this, what's going on, OG, Uncle G? Yeah, man, how's it going? It's going all right, going all right, man. Hey, uh, just had an accountability question for you here. Okay, uh, okay. Solar business out here in Texas that I'm running here, you know, family-owned company. We're expanding to some new markets, you know, based on some motivation that you've given us here. And, uh... Biggest thing, biggest struggle we had in 2019 was holding our sales team accountable. You know, they, 
a lot of folks, you know, the main problem being uh, misrepresentation in the house, you know, uh, you know, with the customers on the, on the appointments and everything. That, that's been our biggest struggle. I mean, what would you recommend uh, that we could do to start holding our sales team more accountable? Good, good. So, number one, hold yourself accountable. Like you can't hold other people accountable if you don't hold yourself accountable. This plan, planner, for all the executives out there and the business owners and the bosses. Yes, sir. Don't be a hypocrite. Do yourself first. Do yourself first. Do you first, okay? And then you can ask, you can expect that from other people. And then it, you, you could literally just tell people, guys, this is what I do every day. Notice my, notice my life is getting better. My health is getting better. I'm showing up earlier. I'm more excited. I'm getting things more done. Like, do you want, that, you want to be part of that or not? And, and so people here, as much as, as much as maybe I push on people hard, people here respect me and say, hey, that guy, that guy does what he's telling me to do. And I'm not saying one thing and doing something else like our parents did, you know? Don't smoke cigarettes, and they smoking them. So, 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 don't drink when you grow up, and they having a martini every night. So, um, what I would say is, look, start writing your goals down every day. What is it you're not getting done every day? Do you have those meaningful targets for yourself that are going to change your life? Then, once I do that, I'm like, hey guys, here's the deal. I expect X. Uh, maybe it's training. Okay, I want you guys to all sell double what you did last year because I know you can. Now I'm going to hold them accountable to that by, by saying daily targets. If, if you ever get a chance, John, to come to, to uh, our school here, you're, we're going to walk you through our daily meeting. You're going to see these guys train every day. They role play every day. And then they're held accountable every 15 minutes on their activity. Hope that helps you, man. Next caller. We have a boot camp uh, coming up. When is that? Mar March. No, not March. Yeah, March. March of boot camp. Three-day boot camp uh, for management personnel, people running divisions, departments, uh, owners, on exactly how we handle that particular situation that John just asked about. You've got Justin in New York. Thank you, Justin. What's going on? Com lag, com lag. The lag is terrible. Justin, what's up? Hey, what's going on, Grant? Happy New Year. How's Just bring them in earlier. Bring the next one. Say, be ready. Okay? Yeah, what's going on, Justin? What's your question? What's, what's going on? My question for you is, how do I stay motivated in doing what I love when everyone around me is doubting what I do? Everyone? Yeah, yeah quit hanging around those people. Well, it's family. It's more. I don't really have you, much hang, Quit hanging around your family. family. If you yeah. if your family if your family was a killer and a thief and a criminal, what would you continue to hang around them? No. No, man. Just because they mom and dad and uncle and aunt just if they stealing from you, they're stealing your dreams from you. You guys, you guys got to understand. Just because it's blood, don't mean it's good. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it's uh it's not even my blood. It's more or less my in laws doubting my business. You know. Yeah, yeah. Of course they're gonna doubt your business. They quit on theirs. Yeah. Most people are quitters, but it's not even a personal thing to the in-laws. Most people quit. 76% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. They all quit. And that's, I don't I, want to live I, like that. I'm talking about myself. I quit on my dreams. Yeah. So if I quit, and I know I quit, I know my sister, my brother, my uncle, my aunt, my cousins, uh, my employees, I know they can quit. I quit. You guys got to be honest so, with yourself. Dude, it's hard to stay focused. So here's my fear. I have tunnel vision on my business, right? Yeah. My fear is I'm driving everybody away. Good, good, good. That's fine. Drive them away. They'll come back. I love the way you think. They'll come back. They'll come back. Later, they're going to come back and say, man, 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 big Justin, man, I always knew you were going to make it, man. I was, I was, I was, when everybody was hating on your shit, I was like, oh my God, he's a, he's a genius. They all come yeah. back, bro. Just make sure you're successful. Yeah. Like I got, I got, I got people that were they, 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 they were like counting me out hard. Like I always yeah, knew another, you were Another thing is, it, uh, a, a year ago I wasn't where I am today, and I don't feel like anybody else sees it. You know, I was, I was nothing a year ago. I had a tiny trailer and one truck, and I cannot. Know, hey, hey, year. Justin, I cannot tell you. I'll just call them out right now. Pat, Rob, Ralph. I mean, I can go over a list of people that inspire me every day to make the billboards, the buses, the TV shows, and the radio. 
We're going to hit all that this year, by the way, folks. Radio, TV, billboards, the sides of buses. I got people that said I would never make it. I'm going to be in your face all the time. I'm going to be in your face so much. Your kids are going to be like, y'all know this Grant Cardone? Oh, my God. Don't bring his name up. Okay. All right. So look, some of that, some of that, like that chip on the shoulder, that resentment, that like that people put you down. You got to you got to convert that to fuel. But mostly you got to stay focused this year, because if you don't stay focused, none of this is going to keep you in the game. Probably the most important thing you can do this year. How do I stay focused every day? That's why I use this little planner. Wake up in the morning. Got it sitting on my, uh, sitting on my bedside. It's right there. Write goals. Okay? I got one on my desk. Write your goals. What are my goals? If I missed it in the morning, I got it right here. I go home at night. I'm on the plane. There's one right there. First thing I look at when I open this, because I'm right-handed probably, write your goals down. Because my goals matter more than everything I'm going to do today matters more than anything. What are my goals for my life next caller? David in Texas. Big D. What's up, Big D? Man, how's it going, buddy? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's down in comments, by the way. Somebody probably threw the, the planner in comments if you want to grab a hold of it. Love you guys commenting on YouTube, by the way, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much. Our next show is sick. Watch that next one right over there. I think it's right over there, right, Johnny? Yes, sir. I don't know. Go ahead. Go next. So what's going on, man? I got a, a question about closing deals, man. I got a lot of tire kickers from last year. I'm trying to close up the last of them. Good. Um, Smart. Yeah, man. Uh, before I run through the new leads, I'm trying to get the old ones for all they got. Smart. Uh, you know, not, not negatively. But anyway, can you give me a close? Like, give me a close. Dude, uh, let me ask you something. I would call these people up and just say, look, I'm the happy new year. The reason I'm calling you, I want to know what it would, what, 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 either, either you want to know why you didn't buy from me last year, or I like this even better. What would it take for me to start this year off with you doing business with me? Good deal. Straight um, up, just ask him that. Let me know. Call me Call me next week and let me know what happens, all right? Thing, though. Thank you. Next caller. You've got Robert in San Jose, California. Robert in San Jose, California. I'm going to be in San Jose when? When is this? Uh, the 11th, 12th, 19th. 18th, 18th, 19th? 19th. 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 Yes, sir. I got the tickets already. You're going to be there? You coming VIP? Yes, sir. I'm coming there right there. I got my tickets. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, good. You bring anybody with you? Yes, my uh, fiance. Uh, what's her name? Her name is Rima, R-I-M-A. Good, man. Look, grab your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, your brothers, your sisters, bring them with you, but make sure they register. That event will definitely be sold out. What he's talking okay. about, folks, is I'm going to San Francisco. I'm doing seven cities in January, seven cities in January, free to the public. I take care of the hotel room. I take care of the travel. All you got to do is drive to the location. Uh, most of these start at 9 o'clock in the morning on a weekend, not a weekday, because we did a poll. Most people said, man, if you could do this on a weekend, that's better than a weekday. I don't have to miss work. So I, I can't do the perfect time for everybody, but I'm doing Phoenix, San Diego, Los Angeles, Orange County, San Francisco, Oakland. Oakland's the one that starts at night, and Las Vegas, seven cities in January kickstart your 2020 yes, okay sir. what kind of question you got man i'll see you in a couple weeks yes sir what do i have to do to get on a stage in las vegas say that again i have an idea okay you got an idea i got yes, an sir. idea i'm in a flower business i'm gonna make it make it biggest heart-shaped flowers possible with roses and present to you on the stage oh all i need is a handshake from you on this stage hey, maybe 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 why, why do i need a rose i don't sell roses I'm, I'm in the rose business. Oh, good for you. I don't want a rose. I don't want a rose. Why don't you give me something I want? I know you like chocolate. I know that. No, nah, I don't want chocolate. What can I do for you? 10X, bruh. I will. I know Make me a 10X. Is it a balloon? Or it's flowers? Like balloons? It's balloons or flowers? Flowers. Make me a 10X flower bouquet. You got it. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure it out later. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just commit I'll first, commit figure first. the rest out later. And, and uh, you bring me a big, I mean, it needs to be big, though, dog. It can't be, don't bring me some little thing, little little croissant. What, what do they call it? Croissant. Croissant. <laughs> uh -uh, I want it's something big. I want it big. I want to be like Grant Cardone died. What would you bring to my funeral? A big 10X, uh, nothing but roses. What yeah, I mean, it'd be big, color? right? Like, you guys that come to my funeral, when y'all come to my funeral, don't be bringing some little bullshit flowers. Okay? I need something big. 
It needs to be Grant Cardone was 10x. I'm probably going to be in an urn anyway. I'm going to give me a little 10x urn like this big. And I'm going to have on the front of it 10x boss on the back. I was never a little bitch. Boy. Punks. And I'm coming back. We're already here. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone. Today I'm talking to you about how to stay focused. Number one, meaningful, game-changing, life-changing, stupid, ridiculous, unreasonable crazy goals that don't just change your life, but change the lives of all the people around you. I'm going to have Kevin Hart on stage. He's going to be talking about this exact topic. He's like, I have zero interest in doing the same thing over and over. Okay. Big goals. I'm going to have Magic Johnson there. He's going to tell you, hey, go big or go bigger because nothing else works on this planet. Guy came from nothing to where he's at today. We're going to have Scooter Braun there. He's going to be talking about 10X. We're going to have Brad Parscale saying, hey, if you don't 10X in the ad business and space, you cannot change the, the, your, your business. Ryan Dice is going to be there. Grant Cardone, Elena Cardone. We got Marie Forleo. We got Usher. I guarantee you Usher is going to be saying, we would not have a Justin Bieber. If it was not for 10X. Rick Ross is going to be forever 10X. Snoopy Dog says, please bring me back, GC. I like your deal. I like the way you think, and I like that money talk. I guarantee he's going to be talking about 10X. This guy out hustles most people, most rappers that are, are 40 years younger than him. Okay, So be there at the 10X Growth Conference. That is in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have seats as low as 497 10xgrowthcon.com, 10xgrowthcon.com, 10xgrowthcon.com. It is the largest, most talked about entrepreneur conference on the planet Earth. More like, it's more like a concert and an entrepreneur conference. Entrepreneur Look, it's insane, bro. It's insane. It's, it's insane. VIP, VIP, premier and diamond seats. I take care of your hotel. I'm putting you in the same hotel that I'm at. It's connected to the conference center. So you and I will be going up and down, my family, in the same elevators, okay? 10xgrowthcon.com, 10xgrowthcon.com. What are we down to, 50 days? 50 days, uh, 47 days. 47 days? 47 days. I'm going to turn Las Vegas on its damn head, okay? Hey, and just remember, whatever happens in Vegas will go with you around the world if it's 10x. All right. Okay. Uh, this weekend, I start with Phoenix, San Diego. Then I go to Orange County, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Oakland, and Las Vegas. I, I miss Las Vegas in there. I'll do Las Vegas this month for free. And in February, you can pay me to come to Las Vegas for three days. I'll do a fourth and fifth day on a mastermind. Uh, that'll be February the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th. What's your year look like? What's your year look like? Because mine's insane, okay? If you want to know about where I'm at this weekend, you can see below. They'll put a link. I think it's grantcardone.com forward slash tour, or you can go grantcardone.com forward slash in the city that I'm coming to. I'm going to do 35 cities, possibly 50 cities in 2020. My goal is to mentor 1 million people. Would you like me to mentor you? Would you like to me be in your face every day, holding you accountable, saying set your targets, set your goals, do what you say you're going to do? If it's weight loss, if it's finances, if it's loving your family, would you light me up in your face every day saying you can do more, you can do more, you can do more. Don't be a little bitch. You can do more. You deserve to do more. Change the game. Would you light me in your face like a ringtone, like every day you wake up? Instead, it'd be like every second I'm in your face, I'm up in your ear, I'm in your brain, I'm in your cellular, I'm in a cell. I'm, you got 60 trillion cells and you add Grant Cardone's another one. And every day I'm communicating with you. Say, hey, come on, get your game on. Get your game on. Do something big. Okay? Do something big. Would that help you? Post below. Would you love me to have you? Could you even handle having me in your face, behind your ear, in your heart, in your bloodstream every day? Say, come on, man. Let's do something big. I wish somebody were to push me when I was a kid. I wish I had a dad to push me. If I can be that guy for you, I got a goal to mentor one million people this year. One million. I want to prove that 10x is more than just about me in my book. It's about you and your life and your family and your dreams and your goals, okay? 2020, let's go kill it.